Hi, Tim Mucker here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install plugins in Vim without a plugin manager. Now, all this requires is Vim 8.0 or higher. So if you've got that, you can install plugins and you don't need any plugin manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a terminal and I'm going to go into Vim and I'm going to go into an insert mode and type one parentheses and then I have a closing parentheses. Okay, and I can put something in between them. Um, that is the Vim Auto Pairs plugin that I installed without any plugin manager. And we're going to install some more plugins. So let me uh, quit out of here and I'm not going to save that. Uh, so I'm going to change directory into a .vim folder. You'll want to create that if you don't have that. In there, you'll see I've created a folder called pack. So your next step, if you haven't created a folder called pack, would be to do that. I'm going to cd into pack. Inside of pack, I've created a folder called vendor. So you have to cd into vendor. Okay. Inside of vendor, uh, I have one more folder called start. So I'm going to cd into start. And you'll see I've cloned uh, auto pairs in there. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to clone in there is let's do Emmet. Vim. So I'm going to search for Emmet and I want to clone this one. And so I'm going to copy that and then I'm just going to type git clone and then paste that in there and let that go and clone on in. And um, now let's open. Let's see, do we want a new window? Let's do a new window. And um, let's cd back to the home directory. And let's create a file called test.html to see if this uh, plugin is now working. Okay, so I'm going to open with Vim test.html. I'm going to go into insert mode and Bam, I've just expanded um, just expanded an HTML framework with Emmet. Um, I can you know do some more expansions, uh, h1 tag, you know, start typing some stuff. You, uh, if you don't know how Emmet works, what, what Emmet basically does is um, in Vim's case is you type uh, like the letter for a tag, like a paragraph tag, for instance, you would let's go down here type P and then you do control Y comma and it puts the opening and closing brackets in there. Uh, you can do some fairly advanced stuff with uh, Emmet. Uh, for instance, you can do something like I want a container, then inside the container I want a row, then this is like if you're using Bootstrap, then inside that I want a column uh, with a median breakpoint that uh, goes four columns across. I also want to have that offset uh, by four columns. And then, boom, I can expand that all out with um, with this Emmet plugin. Okay. So let's just uh, let's quit out of here and not save this. Okay. All right. And um, so now let's go and let me exit out of this window. We're back in our still in our dot vim in the pack, then the vendors inside of that, then the starts inside of that, and we can go get some more plugins. Let's get nerd tree. Okay, so I'm gonna go and get nerd tree uh, vim. Just search for nerd tree here, and copy that, and I'm going to clone that with git. And boom, got nerd tree. Let's open up another tab. Um, and let me just change my directory here. Um, back to my home directory. Let's go into Vim. Okay. Uh, now let's um, inside of Vim, uh, I'm going to do a colon and auto hide this colon. And then we're going to do the command nerd uh, tree 
just nurtory. And then it opens up nurtory on the side. Now you can map a shortcut to that, um, you know, in your VimRC. Uh, I typically do do that. But uh, so anyways, um, and then I can, you know, control WW, go over to here. Let me uh, run that nerd tree command again. Uh, and actually, no, I want to run, sorry. I want to run nerd tree toggle and that'll toggle it off. But point is nerd tree is installed. Okay. Uh, so there are many plugins you can install with this method. Um, and you don't need any plugin manager. So it's very simple and you have them all in that folder. So if you need to delete a plugin, uh, just go ahead and do that. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and gave you an alternative way to install plugins in Vim. And it's very easy, very fast. And uh, especially if you have Git and you have to have uh, Vim 8.0 or higher. But if you have all that, it's very easy. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it will really help the channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. And if you already have liked and subscribed and hit the bell for notifications, thank you. And I hope to see you in the next video.